Hey everybody, welcome back for another Vesta tutorial. Today we actually have a very uh, extensive tutorial. We're going to be doing a few things, um, a little bit more instructive than the previous ones, which may have been a little bit rushed to try to compact a lot of things into a short amount of time. So today what we're going to do, as per request of, as per the, re the request of one of my subscribers, is we are going to be cutting uh, Actually, I don't even know if we're going to be cutting, but we're going to be adding vacuum to an aluminum nitride FCC crystal lattice. Um, the reason I say we're not going to be cutting is because we're just going to be adding vacuum along one of the faces that is already exposed. And um, then what we're going to do is we're going to dope the system. I think we, we can do both interstitial doping and alloy doping. I can show you that this can be done either before or after vacuum. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do is open up what I have here is aluminum nitride FCC lattice. And so here it is. First thing I'm going to do is remove those pesky bonds. They've been really bugging me. <clears throat> so I go to bonds. Then I go to here. I press this. Then I press delete. Apply. Okay. Now, when I think of aluminum and nitrogen, I don't think of these colors. So what I'm actually going to do is change the colors. So I'll do that by going to properties. Then I'll go to atoms. First thing I'll do is I'll change aluminum. Um, I'll change it to more of this sort of pink. Press OK. Then I'll go to nitrogen. I'll change it to this blue. Perfect. Then I press OK. So now we have aluminum and pink, as you can see here nitrogen and blue. And since we're going to be cutting this, I want to actually save export this now. So we'll go to export and let's export it as a, um, let's call it aluminum nitride um, with vacuum. And you'll see why I do this in a little bit. So let's go ahead and save it. Cartesian coordinates. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, think about where I want to add vacuum. So I'm going to add vacuum in the C dimension. So this C dimension is actually the 0, 0, 1 plane. I'll show you. We can go to Edit, Lattice Planes, New. And if I want to do this C dimension, this C dimension, so it'll be this top here, this plane here, I'll do 0, 0, 1. Okay, I press Enter. And you can see that's that's this plane here. Okay, if I turn this to a zero, it'll come down here. Okay, um, zero basically is starting at this, this origin down here. And if I make it one unit cell, so if I do one, it'll translate it up one unit cell. So I press enter, and there it is. Now if I do a two, it's not gonna show up because it's gonna be you know up here somewhere. Okay, so that's it. So we're gonna add vacuum on this dimension. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this lattice plane, press OK. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know that if we want to add vacuum in the C dimension and preserve periodicity in the A and B, then oddly enough, we have to destroy periodicity in the A and B. So let's go ahead and destroy periodicity in the A and B. I'll press the C, so I'm looking down at the C axis, and then I just destroy periodicity in A and B by going like this. That's it. So we have now basically destroyed periodicity in A and B and kept it in C. So now what I do is I save this as an XYZ. It's very important. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is an XYZ and I'll put aluminum nitride temp. This is for temporary. And I'll press save. Do not save the hidden atoms. Then I come here to my uh, text editor and I'm going to go into the XYZ. And I'm going to copy this, these XYZ coordinates. Then I'm going to come to the with vacuum. This is the one we just saved. And I'm going to paste the coordinates. Okay. Now this is very important. We want to check that stoichiometry is preserved. So we have six aluminum, one, two, three, four, five, six, and six nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six. That way our aluminum nitrogen is preserved. So we'll go ahead and call this ALN with vacuum. This is just a string or some text up here. It doesn't matter 
what you put here. So you can see we have six aluminum and six nitrogen. So perfect. Then we can go ahead and delete these. And then I want to add 15 angstroms. So by the way, 15 angstroms of vacuum is probably a very safe bet. Uh, obviously you can go more, but then the more vacuum you go, the more expensive it is. So I, I, I tend to add 15 angstroms. I find it's a good number. So that's 15 angstroms and I save. Okay, now let's go back to Vesta. And we're gonna open our aluminum nitride with vacuum. And there we go, perfect. So one thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to edit bonds. I'm just gonna get rid of these again. Okay, I'm gonna do my color scheme again. I'll go to properties, atom, aluminum, whatever we had before, I think it was this one. And for nitrogen, I think we had this, right? And I did, or was it, that was this, a little, a little lighter, like that, press okay. Okay, perfect. So now we have aluminum nitride with vacuum on the 001 plane. So remember that this is the 001 plane, okay? And now if I wanna dope this, uh, what I have to do is I have to go to structure parameters so edit, edit data, structure parameters, and place in my doping atom in here. Now the question is, where do I wanna dope? I could dope it, let's go ahead and dope it. Um, well, first let's find where our origin is. So our origin is here, that's our origin. So let's dope it one, two, and then inside here, so in here. So let's find out what this atom is. Atom one, aluminum, okay, zero, zero, uh, this value and so we're going to make it a little more than that so we're going to go to new and we'll call this let's let's dope it with an uh, what should we do it oxygen I don't know so O O1 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a little bit in the B dimension I'm going to move 0.25 now this is 0.25 of, of, of this lattice here so 0.25 in the Z dimension, I am gonna go 50% above this. So I'm gonna take this, go to my trusty calculator. So I'm gonna do this, divided by two, right? Then add it, gives me this. So I'll place that there. And then I'm gonna go 0 0.25 in this dimension. Let's press apply. So perfect, perfect, perfect. There's our oxygen, okay? So this is, interstitial oxygen doping. If I go to space filling, see my oxygen is in there. And um, so what'll happen if I go to boundaries and I expand this in the B, let's go two minus one, and I press apply. You can see that the oxygen goes like that, it's very nice. These atoms are just repeating, so you don't need to worry about them. Um, now, what if I wanted to alloy instead of instead of dope. Or what if I wanted to alloy instead of interstitial doping? So what I can do, I can go to edit, edit data, structure parameters. I can go to this oxygen, delete it, press apply. And now, apologize if there's noise in the background, I have some noisy neighbors. Now, if I want to do alloying, what I do is I actually replace one of these atoms. So let's say I wanted to do a nickel alloy. So I would come up here now to aluminum and I would change it to nickel, nickel one, press apply. Oh, turns out it's this one here. So um, let me change this back to aluminum. Go back to this is the one I wanted. It actually doesn't matter which one. So I'll go to nickel, press apply. There it is. There's our, basically our nickel alloy. I press okay. And then I go to boundaries and let's expand it again. Press apply. Perfect. So that's it. And then if you wanna save these coordinates, you can go to file, export data. And then you basically actually export this. I'll call it alloy uh, nickel. Alloy. Dot vast. 
Okay, let me go to VASP and press save. Cartesian coordinates. Now let's open it and see what we got. So there it is. This is our nickel. And if you want to see it how I did it before, you'd actually have to go back here to bonds, uh, delete everything, apply, then go to properties, and just changes. You, you don't have to do this, uh, but I, I, I like to do it just because I envision these atoms being this color. And then I go to here. Okay, yeah, so now this is nickel alloyed uh, aluminum nitride surface with vacuum. And you can see here that if you were going to do an electronic structure calculation, what you would do is you would then come here and you'd put in five aluminum, six nitrogen, oops, Um, all over the place, and then one nickel. And so, you know, you would you would use these as your coordinates for your electronic structure calculation. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll be I'll be looking for it. Okay, take care.